are you hearing about PV's injury status? Same thing you're hearing. They've got to wait till tomorrow. They're going to take a look and find out just exactly what's going to happen with him. Quite obviously, when he was good, he was very good. But I think it's frustrating for Jake because he worked so hard to come back, came back early, looked good in spots. And today, he did have pretty good stuff at the beginning. And all of a sudden, when he had the groin problem, then he had that big inning. But if the double play is made by Ramirez, that inning never happened. I know that he didn't pitch well after the double play wasn't made, but Jackson was bearing down on Ramirez at second base. Occasionally, he gets a flat-footed throw-off trying to get away from the runner. This time, it pulled Paulie up the line, and on the swipe tag, he missed him. It opened the floodgates. When you give a good hitting team four outs or more in an inning, you've got problems, and Sox had them today. What about the unconventional six-man rotation? Because you got to protect PV with that extra guy there, but I don't remember a team that wins with a six-man rotation. That's because you've never seen a six-man rotation over the long haul, and I don't think you're going to see one now because Jake Peavy is going to miss some time. So sometimes the six-man rotation takes care of itself. This might be one instance when it does. One of the things that the Sox have to do, same thing with the Cubs. Sox are 11-15 and 15 against, uh, well, they're 11-15 and 15 at home. That's not real good. And two, they're 6-9 and nine in their division. If you don't win against your division and you don't win at home, you're not going to be able to catch whoever it is in first place. I think Cleveland's coming back to the pack, and they're coming back quickly. They got swept by Texas. I don't think they have the pitching to sustain, but the Tiger team's a pretty decent team, and that's a team that uh, you're going to have to catch, and I believe at the end uh, it's going to be the Sox and the Tigers. All right, Stoney, I know you put together your third book, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. It's called Set in Stone, Your Game, My Way. What was the inspiration in writing book number three? What I wanted to do was explain every position on the field, and I wanted to do it with a light touch. So there's a lot of information in there about every position, the front office, and my views on that, um, man, the, the dugout, my views on that, the commissioner's office, my views on Bud, and how tough it is to be a commissioner, because it would be like being elected by a third of the country and ruling it all, because the owners elect him, yet he's a commissioner of baseball over everybody. Then I look ahead in baseball in the future. I look at some of the things that might happen. One of the things I say in there has already just about happened, and that is another playoff team. I believe that's going to happen. I talk also about an international draft. I think that's going to come about because it's not really fair to have the big revenue, big money teams consistently getting the stars from the Pacific Rim. So I believe that an international draft eventually will come about. I also talk about trading draft choices. We're one of the few few right. sports you can't trade draft choices but to have that you have to have a rookie cap a lot like basketball if you have that there are some teams for instance let's say that Washington gets Strasburg but doesn't really need him because they're five years away from winning they could get three or four players for him but you can't do that until you put a cap on the rookie salaries so we'll have to see everything's on the table for the next collective bargaining agreement and we'll have to see how the players and Bud work this out but understand no work stoppages for 16 years and the commissioner's office is very proud of that. Stoney, where can someone find the book? Can they buy it on the internet? Can they buy it at a bookstore? Is it out? I would assume that they can buy the one you're holding as well as just about any place else. Let's sell this right now. <laughs> uh, I'll, uh, do I hear $25 for Stoney's book? So I, I love about it. Sylvie. He's starting an auction here. <laughs> at the no, I got some money here. Steve, always a pleasure. Thanks for coming on out. Thank you. Great Lou. knowledge. Love to see you. And you Thanks, sold the book. You're first. Terrific. Your second one sold the best, did it not? You get you get a special discount. <laughs> Give me another ten. Another ten. You can change for twenty. Steve Stone, nice enough to join us here on the final word.